Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Steam and today we are going to take a look at how to add this skill section. And uh, the first thing that you need to do is go to Prismic and go to custom types. And basically just add a new section just called skills. Just uh, drag a title here and drag a rich text to the repeatable zone. And uh, yeah, basically what you did last video. And then go to content, go to homepage, and then add a new section here called uh, skills. And basically just write down skills and in the repeatable zone you can make a list here and you can also write some text here. And that's basically it and just publish it so there's also something else to note we need to change change the query as you can see here it's uh, gives us a warning here also you need to restart the server but yeah we need to change the query so we can actually copy this uh, but then we need to use some fragments so if we go here go to prismic homepage body section and prismic homepage body skills so those two are fragments and we can do we can write this so we can write prismic on homepage section and we want uh, this and we also want slice type and we can copy this. Do the same thing for the skill section. And uh, yeah. And then we can just copy all of this into and put it into the code. I already did this as I usually do. And then I did some changes here also. So the first thing is that we want to get the slice type. So the section is the normal one that we did in the last video. And then we also want to match on skills. So we just want to have a class name on the section and a class name on the skills section. And we can then go to here and we can change this so it only targets the uh, normal section and it will look like you know as we did in the last video it will look like this but then um, we also want to target the skills ul here and it will look like this instead so let's see how it looks so it looks like this right now so we gave it some styling and uh, so we have some margin top here as you can see and uh, we also made a display flex and we have some margin bottom on each of these items we have some margin right we have some padding and we have a background background color and then we have white space no wrap which means that it's on a single line, the text is on a single line. And uh, yeah, that's basically it for, for this. So now that we are basically done with the site, so the site looks like this. For now, uh, you can always change this right in the Prismic UI and then you can then go to Netlify. And deploy it. So Netlify will deploy our, all our website. Uh, if you have like a Git repository, and this is our Git repository, uh, you can go to Netlify, then go log in with GitHub, and you will come to this page, kind of like this page. You can make a new site from Git, and go to GitHub. 
and then just let's see uh, let's configure here so I can add my stuff let's do select repository okay and then you can click on this one and uh, you can deploy master build command Gatsby build that's that works and publish directory is public that's fine and then you can basically deploy the site deploy site and it's in progress so we'll we'll have to wait a bit let's and uh, the deploy failed let's see what's uh, failed building unknown field primary on type oh I see so we have to push this okay it's building now so let's see if this will work just wait a bit for it to to run and yeah that should be it and we can preview the side here I guess uh, yeah so okay so that works so we want to trigger a deploy every time you publish on Prismic so go to Netlify then build and deploy let's see it deploy can build hooks add build hook build hook name we will just call this uh, prismic since we're going to trigger the build from prismic so just save and then we get this URL that we can trigger so if we go to prismic we have this URL that it will trigger I think that is fine at this web hook so let's try to trigger it let's try to trigger it actually see what happens and it works so that was pretty easy so every time we publish it will then build so let's try to publish something let's try to do something so we want to add something here Let's add something, something more, right? Uh, yeah, let's do that. So we want that to be a headline. We want this to be gray. There we go. And you can save, publish, and this will trigger a rebuild so as you can see it actually added a new rebuild there and then also if we go back to our site we can see that we added uh, university of phoenix is there since we made that change so now it triggers every re uh, now prismic triggers every rebuild and the last thing is setting up a custom domain but uh, I don't really want to show you that since it um, can be complicated but it also can be very straightforward so but there should be a lot of tutorials and it's guiding you through it very easily so just try it out this is basically the end of this series so yeah I hope you liked the series and if you want you can always uh, always request me making a um, how to set up the custom domain and yeah thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video